Okay, this is a short video on visualizing networks. So I'm in UCINet and I'm going to press the NetDraw button. And then I'm going to press the open with a U to open up a UCINet data set. I'm going to use one of the standard data sets that come with the program. And the one that I'm going to use is called PV504, which is um, network data from the RAND Corporation. I see it's a bit messy and I also see that I don't really need these uh, labels for the nodes because they're not very informative. So I'm going to press the L button here that toggles the labels on and off and turn them off. Also the ties in this case are not directional. They're undirected. Uh, they are collaboration ties on projects, so if A collaborates with B, B also collaborates with A, so we don't really need the arrowheads. So I'll press this button here, which will toggle the arrowheads off. It's still pretty messy, um, but these data actually give the number of days that each pair of people, persons, work together on some project. So I could um, change the cutoff for what counts as a tie. I'm going to press the RELS button here, the RELS tab. And over here it says greater than zero. So it's showing a line between two nodes if they spent any time at all together. Using the plus sign, I can raise that cutoff. I'll make it greater than two, so they have to have spent at least three days together. And then I'll hit the lightning bolt. Okay, that looks fairly interesting. Uh, now, at this point, maybe I want to change the background. Instead of being a stark white, I could go up to Properties, Background, Color, and choose something like a light gray. Okay. Um, now, I think I want to bring in some attributes of the nodes, that is, characteristics of the nodes. So I go to open with an A, and I bring in the data set that corresponds to, let me hit the uh, browse button here, that corresponds to the attributes for this network, and it's PV504ATTR, and I press OK. And now, if I go over to the far right here and look at the nodes tab, and hit the drop down, I see a bunch of different attributes and one of them is department. So I'm going to choose that and I'm going to press the color button here and then immediately unpress it so that the colors don't change. I also want to change the shape of the nodes to represent gender. Now I could do that with the shape button down here but then I can't control the shapes and by the way the same is true of colors. If you want to control which department got which color, there's another way to do it. And the way to do it is to go up to Properties, choose Nodes, Symbols, and then you could change the color or the shape, which is what I'm going to do right now. And not for all nodes, but rather based on an attribute. And it takes a moment in this data set to load up the attributes there we go. I can now choose sex and uh, we've got circles and squares. That seems okay. I But I could change them if I wanted to. Um, for example, I could make these circles and I could make these squares. Press OK. Close the window. And now I've got circles and squares. And at this point, I might want to transfer this to PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do is just press Control-C. So Control-C, that's copied it to the clipboard. I now start up PowerPoint. I'll create a blank presentation. I'll add a new slide that just has the title and then I'll paste it in. Hmm. Didn't paste. Let's go back. 
click into here, control C, go back to PowerPoint, and paste. I don't know what I did wrong. And this looks a little bit large, so I will just adjust it. And I might put in some kind of reminder here that says shape refers to gender, color refers to department. And maybe I'll even put a background in that, make that all white. Right, so that's all there is to it.